It is a groundbreaking medical procedure that could save lives around Jacksonville. More than 127,000 Americans will die from lung cancer this year. But the team at HCA Florida Memorial in Jacksonville is using a robot that can find cancerous tumors in parts of the lung that were previously inaccessible. So tonight, on your side, Rich Donnelly was granted exclusive access to see how this robot works. He's a ball of nerves before the procedure. William Love smoked a pack of cigarettes every day since he was 12 years old. Now he's 63, and a spot on his lungs found during a CAT scan indicated that he may have lung cancer. It is what it is. So this is what we're going to get you to start out with. Um, what you going to do about it? His team of doctors at HCA will do something about it. They plan to find the tumor and determine if it's cancer. The lung is like a tree with the branches. So we are trying to get to this part far away in the branch, smallest branch. Amit Chakravarty is a doctor of pulmonary diseases and will drive the robotic assisted bronchoscopy to an area of the lung that was inaccessible with previous methods. Robotic protocol scopes are much smaller and more, much more flexible. So we should be able to get far, far away, up to lesions measuring up to eight millimeters. Love is wheeled into the procedure room. While he's sedated, the robot wakes up. The medical team looks at scans and imaging to plot their course for the robot. With their path locked in and the robot locked in, it's time to find the cancer. There's not a single scalpel involved in this procedure. In fact, Dr. Chakravarty drives the robot down the patient's throat and navigates the cavities of the lung with this handheld controller that looks like it could be hooked up to your kid's Xbox. I will get some tissue samples. A camera at the end of the scope gives Dr. Chakravarty a live view inside the lung while he's navigating through branches of the lung that could not be reached prior to this technology. With this, we could actually pretty much say we are close to the lesion or on the lesion. This image is one glimpse of what the team is looking for. The white spots indicate the presence of a tumor, but is it cancerous? The tumor is behind a membrane wall, so to reach it, the robot takes a small bite mere millimeters thin. More live time imaging gives the crew another glimpse of the robot in action. Because of this new robotic technology, the tumor is no longer hidden. And after a quick 35 minutes, the team was able to gather samples of the tumor to be biopsied, and William Love is rolled out of the room. When you first started in medical school, did you ever think that your career would come down to a video game controller? Never, never even imagined. It's a very nice tool, and I'm very happy with Memorial Hospital. They have this uh, platform available to us. William Love is recovering, and it appears he will avoid serious medical care in the near future. The tumor was not cancerous, and because the robot was able to find it and remove a piece of it from a part of his lung that was previously inaccessible, he will avoid unnecessary cancer treatments. Reporting with the future of medical technology in Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side. Glad he got some good news there. The robot in this story is not always restricted to trained medical professionals. In fact, coming up on November 8th, HCA Memorial will allow the community to try their hands at driving the robot in a simulated procedure, not on people, but on a simulated procedure, just to see how it works.